Good morning. Welcome to the 22nd South African Psychology Congress. this conference as a uh, way to make that happen and start to give people ideas about how psychology can be even more responsive and really meeting the unique needs of those very vulnerable populations that need our expertise. Pasteur said the future belongs to those who have done the most for suffering humanity and I think nearly all of us are gripped with that challenge. I don't think um, the, the profession has been able to keep up with the pace of the change, um, so a lot can still be done in that, in that sphere. I think psychology has a long way to go to be responsive to the issues of our time. Um, I think that we have to stop, pause and re-examine how we develop our knowledge base, how we go about the process of developing theories, how we ground those theories and the consequent practices within the context of culture and place, and with the understanding of historical influences on contemporary issues. Finally, imagine a psychology where an anti-colonial consciousness is the norm, where we cringe at the student selection processes we supported, where we gasp in disbelief at how we allowed medical aids and individualized interventions to narrow the treatment and prevention possibilities that could have been designed. Why do we have to wait for people to take to the streets or for libraries to burn before we begin to listen? The reality is that young people on campuses right now across the country are giving you the incentive. They say if you won't listen because of your humanity or their humanity, you'll listen because of your BMW. You know, human beings are imperfect and systems are imperfect, but that psychology has great leaders and that we have a great future moving forward and increasing our focus on human rights and our attention to the needs of human beings.